I'm going to quickly show you how you can export your Site3D model to a BIM file and then load it in programs uh, like a BIM Viewer or Revit or even Navisworks. So let's go and hit Save As and choose the IFC file format. And if we just click OK, we can then choose a file name and hit Save. From here, we can just load up our uh, BIM Viewer. In this case, it's just BIM Vision and then choose that file. And now this will be loaded into the viewer and import all the information and the objects and the surfaces that came through. So I don't want to see my existing ground surface here because that's getting in the way. So I'll hide that one. And this next one is our formation surface. So again, I want to get rid of that and hide that one. And the one underneath is our cut and fill model. So I want to get rid of that as well. So now we can see we have our model, which we can then rotate around, zoom in and out, and pan around and have a look and inspect it generally uh, uh, much closer. So then I can do things like select objects, uh, select a pipe or a road, or if I select a manhole, you can see all the attributes that have come through from the site 3D model are then shown in the properties window. Now, if you want to load it into something like Revit or Navisworks, if I just close this one down, um, and you don't want to, or you want to sort of tailor what is exported out, I can do the same and hit save as, but this time we can choose what objects we want to export out. So in this case, I don't want to export out the surfaces that I had to turn off. I just want to turn those off here. And then if you want to, uh, for programs like uh, Revit, you might want to provide a base point. This allows you to uh, sort of align all of your models to the same coordinate system. So I'm just going to overwrite that file and hit yes. Now I can go into uh, my Revit and open up that file. In this case, I'm going to go to load an IFC file and choose it. The uh, importance of the base point in Revit is because Revit has a um, uh, a maximum coordinate system of about 10,000 meters away from the origin of the model, which is why providing a, uh, a an origin base point or a, uh, a base point that allows us to, to deal with this will mean that Revit can handle the larger coordinate system much better and will draw everything quite, uh, quite neatly as well. Go to our 3D view. And it's the same as our viewer. We can go in here, we can then rotate around, uh, rotate around, zoom in and out, and even select objects as well. It's the same as the other side of things. Okay, thank you.